Fort Lauderdale before? Never. Never? Mm -mm. Never to this area at all? Well, uh, when I used to work in Florida, I always worked at the Diplomat in Hollywood, Florida. And I've been to Miami, you know, to the hotels there. But other than that, I just heard about all these other places. I just haven't been there. But nobody's safe from us this time. Because we spent uh, five weeks in Orlando and Fort, uh, I mean, in St. Petersburg. Then we went home for a week. Now we're back here in Palm Beach, so nobody. And I sing so loud, if they can't come, they can just throw open a window. <laughs> Hear me, you know. So. What do you think of the audiences here? I love them. Oh, well, uh, I tell you what, the wonderful thing about being with the girls is the fact that even though they might not have come to hear me precisely, if they're going to hear them, they got to go through me, you know. Mm -hmm. And I get a chance to sing for some new ears, and it's wonderful. Mm -hmm. A lot of people that have heard you on records and never seen you don't know what you do. And it's, it's fun. I'm having a good time. When you hear the song, The Wheel of Fortune, what goes through your mind? All the good things that have ever happened to me has just about come through Wheel of Fortune, my home, any stocks and bonds that I have, uh, any niceties that I have pretty much come through Wheel of Fortune. I've had a lot of uh, almost, you know, near misses, but you don't get a cigar for that. So um, people think I have a wall full of gold records. I only have two. I have Wheel of Fortune and I have uh, Rock and Roll Walls. And um, Side by Side was not one, nor was Bonaparte's Retreat, and everybody thinks, boy, they're all on the wall. They're not. Mm -hmm. They were near misses. Mm -hmm. I noticed you mix in uh, music of today with the older music. You seem to do that yeah. so well, too. What do you think of the music today? I love it. You know, when I first started to sing, uh, all the songs were 32 bars. I mean, it was 16 bars, and then there was a bridge, and there was eight bars, and it was out. And you could be sick or half there or whatever. And if you could count to 32, you knew you, the song was over. <laughs> but today, uh, songs can be 12, 14 bars, or they can be like uh, MacArthur Park, which is a week, you know. Just stand out. But they're thinking people's songs, other than those that keep saying, oh, babe, and oh, babe. Whose music do you like today? Especially? Well, I like Christopherson's. I like all the story songs. And Neil Sedaka writes some good ones. Uh, Man Lowe, he writes good ones. I like stories. I like to have a beginning, a middle, and an ending. I feel like I can tell the story better that way. And people seem to identify with that better than just boop, boop, did em, dot em, wad em, chew, you know, <laughs> those kind of things where you don't know whether it's but over that, or not. But that was your bread and butter at one point. Not, <laughs> never, boop, boop, did em, dot em, wad em, chew. <laughs> I did Wabash Cannonball, which is like yodeling a little bit, but I don't do that anymore either. Uh -huh. Sometimes I do it in nightclubs when I can get two people. But in a theater like this, they're a little bit far away to really get in their pockets. You talk about coming from Oklahoma. How does a little girl from Oklahoma make it big in the big city? By singing loud. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I, I sang with hillbilly bands, you know, the very in all my younger years. And I don't really even know uh, when I made the transition. Mm -hmm. um, but I did, and I'm here, and every now and again I'll throw something in that's really country. I do Wabash a lot and try to yodel. I used to know how to yodel, but people kept saying to me, isn't that hard? And I thought, well, no, it's not. But every time I would do it, I would remember what they said, isn't that hard? And it got to be a little harder and a little harder and a little harder. Now I can't yodel a lick. I just <laughs> It's funny when I do it, but it's not a real yodel. Where has your emphasis been in your life, with your career or your personal life? Gee, I don't know. I've never done anything but sing, and uh, I have a daughter. I have a grandson. Everybody talks about all their kids and their grandchildren. You say, I only have, I'm an only child, I have an only child, and she has an only child, and we are fading fast. <laughs> so you see, I can't very well talk about my family on the, <laughs> on the stage, but uh, I think if you'd add them all up, we'd have a small army <laughs> of kids and grandkids and things like that. You mean in the show? In our okay. show, our little entourage. Right. We could make our own audience if we just get the kids to sit still. <laughs> Where is the show going after here? We're going to uh, Palm, Palm Beach, I think, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Palm Beach. See, I don't, this is a new part of the country to me, so I really don't, I'm kind of like finding my way around. Was it difficult stepping into the role after it had been on Broadway with others involved? Did you, were you afraid of comparison, perhaps? Mm. You mean with the girls? Right, because on oh, no, Broadway I, it was with Margaret Whiting and... Well, everybody sings so different. Uh, 
I don't, we have no ego problems at all prevailing here, which is just marvelous. And we never have to ask each other, listen, were you going to sing that song? Because whatever is my style of song is certainly not their style of song, and their style of songs are not mine. Mm -hmm. And of course, then we have, I call her Shanty, but it's Martha Ray. She's, she just sings anything she wants and gets away with it. You know, she's so brilliant. <laughs> that we all just stand back. Today she left us on the stage. She just left us on the finale. And I said, how dare you leave us on that stage with your audience? You come back and we'll leave, you know? <laughs> but it didn't work out that way. <laughs> on the show, um, one of the girls says, gee, if I had known I was living through an era, I would have paid oh. <laughs> more attention. Yeah, that's Helen. <laughs> Do you feel that way also? Well, I'm not a legend in my own time, so it doesn't bother me. <laughs> I haven't really felt as though I've she said, she says, I've, I slept through the era. I, I didn't, I didn't want to go to sleep. I'm afraid I'll miss something. <laughs> Thank you very much. You're Good very welcome. Thank you. Okay. A little I was bit. here last night, and I, were you? yeah, the audience seemed to be so good here last night. Yeah, was, yeah. Uh, they were a little reserved today. They were getting a little, I said, they're a little polite. A, yeah. Well, you had an opening night already. And he is happy as a lark. He was born in California, but I think we got a real oaky on our hands. He comes home for Christmas, and he comes home for the summer holiday. But he's treading water to get back, because he wants to get back to his motorcycle. In California, you know, you have to be old enough to vote for stuff that nobody understands but him, you know. But he's not into his show business at all? No. Is he curious he's too about smart for that. Is he curious about you? Does he ask about what it was like for you? No, no. I don't think he's interested in anything but himself and girls right now. Mm -hmm. But um, I think one day he might ask me some questions. I just hope I have the answers. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.